In this video, I will teach you everything you need to know about geometric progressions and we'll start right now. My name is Shirley and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here and you would like to improve in your MX skills, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so that you don't miss anything. Let's take a look at what is a geometric progression. What is a geometric progression? A geometric progression is a sequence where each term after the first is found by multiplying the previous one by a fixed number which is called the common ratio. So the formula for common ratio is r equals to tn over tn minus 1. Okay, let's look at this example. 2, 6, 18, 54 is a geometric progression. Okay, so to find a common ratio, we're going to use this formula r equals to tn over tn minus 1. Okay, so for this, I'm going to use this is t1, this is t2, t3 and t4. Okay, so I'm going to use T2 over T1 because the number is the smallest. So T2 over T1, okay, which is 6 divided by 2, so we get 3. Okay, so for this sequence, our A, which is the first term, is equal to 2, and R, which is the common ratio, is equal to 3. To find the n term of a geometric progression, we use this formula. Tn equals to AR to the power of n minus 1 whereby A stands for the first term, R stands for common ratio, and N stands for number of terms. Let's look at the following example. The second term and the fifth term of a geometric progression are 904 and 144 respectively. Find the first term and the common ratio. So for this, okay, it's given T2 and T5. So this is T2 and this is T5. So we're going to substitute into the TN formula for GP. Okay, so let's solve this. So T2 is given as 9 over 4. Okay, and T5 is equals to 144. Okay, so for T2, we're going to substitute into AR to the power of N minus 1, which means it's AR, because 2 minus 1 is 1, equals to 9 over 4. And we're going to take this as equation 1. And then T5 is AR to the power of 4, because 5 minus 1 is 4. Okay, equals to 144. And this is equation 2. Okay, so I'm going to use uh, Tamatina's equation method to do this. So I'm going to use equation 2 divided by equation 1 to eliminate the A so that we can find the value of R. So AR to the power of 4 over AR is equals to 144 over 9 over 4. Okay, in bracket. And then we can cancel the A and A. Okay, so on the left hand side, we have R to the power of 3 because r to the power of 4 divided by r is r cubed okay so equals to okay let's solve this with the calculator so 144 okay divided by bracket 9 over 4 so we'll have 64 okay we have 64 so to find r we're going to bring over the cube become a cube root of 64 so r is equals to 4. Okay? So to find a, we're going to substitute this r equals to 4 into equation 1. Okay? So I'm going to sub substitute. So I'm going to move my working over here. Okay? So sub r equals to 4 into equation 1. Okay? So so r, so a r is 4 equals to 9 over 4. Okay? So a, so we move the 4 over, it becomes 9 over 4 times 4, which is 16. Okay, so therefore, A equals to 9 over 16, and the common ratio R is equal to 4. So that's the answer. To find the sum of the first n terms of a GP, we use this formula. Sn equals to A bracket R to the power of n minus 1 over R minus 1 if R is more than 1. But if r is less than 1, we use another formula, which is Sn equals to a bracket 1 minus r to the power of n over 1 minus r. Let's look at the following example. Given a geometric progression 3, 12, 48, 192 and so on, find the value of n for which the sum of the first n terms is 65,535. So this is the Sn. Okay, so firstly we write down the progression. So 3, 
12, 48, 192, and so on. So this is GP. Okay, next we find what are the A and R. Okay, so A is the first term, which is 3, and R is, I'm going to use T2 over T1, which is 12 over 3, which is equal to 4. Okay, next I'm going to substitute into the SN formula. Okay, so SN formula is, so for this the R is more than 1, so I'm going to use the first SN formula, which is A bracket R to the power of N minus 1 over R minus 1. Okay, so the SN is 65,535 equals to A is 3, R is 4, okay, and then power N and minus 1 over R is 4 minus 1. Okay, so this is 3 at the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to write down this and then equals to, so 3 bracket 4 to the power of N minus 1 over 3. So we can cancel the 3 off. Okay, and then this one, negative one, we bring over to the left. So we'll get 65,536 equals to 4 to the power of n. Okay, so let's figure out um, 65,536 is 4 to the power of what? So we try, okay? So we try 4 to the power of 6, 4 to the power of 7, 4 to the power of 8, okay? So what I get? 4 to the power of 8 is 65,536. So this is 4 to the power of 8. Okay, so equals to 4 to the power of n. Okay, so let's compare both sides. So therefore, n is equals to 8. So that is the answer. There's another important formula that you need to know. That is, to find Tn, okay, we not just use ar to the power of n minus 1, but what if the a and r are not given in the question, but they give you Sn. So we're going to use the Sn formula to find Tn, okay, and the formula is Tn equals to Sn minus Sn minus 1, okay? For example, if they ask you to find T9, so we're going to find I substitute the 9 into the SN formula given in the question. So it's going to be S9 minus S8. Okay? So if it's T, for example, T50. So we're going to use S50 minus S49. Okay? So remember this formula. If the A and R are not given in the question, but the SN formula is given. Let's look at this example. Given the sum of the first n terms of a geometric progression, Sn is equal to 1 minus negative 3 holding to the power of n. So find the first term and the common ratio. So let's work out for A. To find the first term, so T1 is equal to S1. Okay, so therefore we're going to substitute n equals to 1 into the formula here. Okay, so it will be 1 minus negative 3 to the power of 1. So that will be 1 plus 3, which is equal to 4. Okay? So let's work out for B. To find a common ratio, we need to find what is T2 first. Okay? So T2 is equal to S2 minus S1. Okay? Remember the formula that we learned just now? So the formula, the formula is, okay, to find Tn equals to Sn minus Sn minus 1. Okay? So remember this formula, yeah? So let's go back to the question. So S2 is 1 minus negative 3 to the power of 2 in bracket, okay, minus S1, we got it just now, 4, so 4 here. So 1 minus negative 3 to the power of 2 is 9, okay, minus 4. So negative 8 minus 4 is negative 12, okay, negative 12. So we got to find common ratio now, okay, so how to find common ratio? So to find common ratio, R, Okay, we're going to use T2 over T1. Okay, so equals to, so T2 is negative 12 and T1 is 4. So therefore, the R common ratio is negative 3. So that is the answer. To find the sum to infinity of a geometric progression, we use this formula. S infinity is equal to A over 1 minus R with the condition that modulus R is less than 1. Let's look at the following example. The first term and the sum to infinity of a geometric progression are 14 and 16 respectively. Find the common ratio. 
Okay, so this is the first term and this is S infinity and find ratio. Okay, so A is equal to 14 and S infinity is equal to 16. Okay, list down what are the information that you can extract from the question and then you put into the formula. So the formula that we're going to use is S infinity is equal to A over 1 minus R. So S infinity is 16 and then A is 14 over 1 minus r. So I'm going to move 1 minus r over to the left hand side. So it becomes 16 bracket 1 minus r equals to 14. Okay, so I'm going to expand this. So it becomes 16 minus 16r and is equals to 14. Okay, so 16 minus 14 is equal to 16r. Okay, so 16 minus 14 is 2 equals to 16r. So to find r, it's going to be 2 over 16. So 2 over 16, we simplify it, become 1 over 8. So that is the common ratio. The last part of the chapter is to find recurring decimals. Let's look at this example. Express the repeating decimals 0.56363 dot 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 as a fraction in its simplest form. So be careful because the 5 is not repeated, only the 6 and 3 are repeated. So I'm going to split them up. So I'll write down the question first. Eh? 0.56363 dot 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 okay, is equal to 0 0.5 plus 0 0.063 plus 0 0.00063 okay and so on so 0 0.5 i change it to fraction become 1 over 2 plus okay so we're going to sub this into the formula of s infinity which is a over 1 minus r okay so from the progression this is a progression this is the a the first term is 0 0.063 okay and this is the second term so we need to find r by doing a side working okay so to find r I'm going to use T2 over T1, which is 0 0.00063 over 0 0.063. Okay, so let's find this. What's the answer? 0 0.00063 divided by 0 0.063. So we got 0 0.01. Okay, so it's 0 0.01. Okay, so now we have the values of A and R. We can substitute into the formula. So it's half plus a is 0 0.063 over 1 minus 0 0.01 okay so 1 over 2 plus 0 0.063 so this is 1 minus 0 0.01 is 0 0.99 okay now we can use the calculator again okay 0 0.063 divided by 0 0.99 will get 7 over 110 okay then after that we're going to plus with a half so we get 31 over 55. Okay, and then you double check your answer. 31 divided by 55, what do you get in decimal? So you get 0 0.5636363. Okay, so therefore your answer is confirmed correct. Well, that's all for now. Now that you have learned all the basics about geometric progressions, it is time for you to do some passive questions. Stay tuned to my next video which is SPM passive questions on geometric progressions coming up soon. Bye!